Till this date, we have three Elden Ring related content on YouTube now, which is the first Elden Ring gameplay trailer, the story trailer, and now a decent amount of gameplay footage given to IGN and Vartivedia and whatever YouTubers are qualified for this shit. And in this video, we are just going to focus on what things are already confirmed and are coming in the DLC. I, it's time for stopping uh, the speculation and what theory is possible in the DLC. It's already over. It's just less than a month is left. This content, both trailers and the gameplay, we are focusing on what things, what aspect are confirmed that are coming in the DLC. Starting off with the main story aspect, we are going to focus in the Shadow Realm as well. Starting with the number one will be the America and Earth Tree story. We are focusing main the origin and the crimes committed by America and the greater will. And second, the main story which we are going to follow in the DLC is Mikla and uh, what is his ambitions. We are basically following his footsteps where he has been, where he is uh, heading to and where we will find him and the third one is the mesmer side of story which we have seen a lot in the story trailer what mesmer has done and how everything will lead to mesmer at the end of the uh, dlc so the, these are the main three story aspect and the more department we could cover in the game are the primordial beings of the crucible all the creatures with scales wings feathers tails whatever it is the misbegotten side of story crucible knight and all the beasts you find in the lands between that will also be a, one of the biggest story points in the dlc which we have seen the bestial side of this uh, the lion dance boss and the second thing is we ourselves going to use the crucible knight incantations it's a much more bigger expansion on the aspect of the crucible both gameplay wise and story wise now the another thing which I personally am quite interested in is the death birds and the death culture. The new gameplay we have seen the newer kind of death birds. Why I'm specifying is this because there are two death culture in the lands between. The one is the old school death bird and uh, uh, ghost flame death culture and the second is the death blight godwin style of death culture. Both are somewhat related. But the death culture related to death birds are have much more history and dated before Earth Tree and the Greater Will. So it makes sense we are going to see that in the game and it is a definitely an expansion of this side of story. As mentioned before, the primordial beings of the Crucible will also include more omens and cursed omen stuff we have seen in the lens between. Morgoth or any omens we find in subterranean shining grounds and I would say there are new kind of omens in the lands between the new gameplay video shown the new omens quite some are quite of different style but are heavily related to what I have seen in the lands between already in the first gameplay trailer we have seen the new type of dragon communion which includes the rune bear it might not be the case that it is an expansion on the story side of Dragon Communion. The story we have figured out of the Dragon Communion is only through items and I don't think there is possibility that they will explore the Dragon Communion side of story more. They have to make more spells and incantation and um, more Dragon Communion incantations are just part of it. But I still have a confusion for the gravity magic we have seen in the new gameplay video as well as in the uh, previous trailers. Somehow it is more significant than the other type of magic or incantations. We have seen a specific boss of uh, gravity magic, new gravity magic spells. It's another focus point in the DLC. And plus they have said there will be more glintstone sorceries as well. But I am mainly focusing on the gravity side of uh, uh, glintstone sorcery. I, th I think it is a necessary which uh, only proves that it will only uh, fill the purpose as gameplay wise. There will be no additional story related to magic uh, in the DLC, I don't think so. Because the reason is there are so many stats in Elden Ring that if we are expanding on the base game, all the stats must be covered and new game mechanics should be introduced for every stats. So faith can be covered for physical damage, strength and dexterity is, uh, can be covered. 
which we left is arcane and intelligence arcane is basically just not a religion based uh, holy or anything magic related uh, sorceries and incantations so arcane can be covered i think i think the big uh, big thing will be the arcane will be the stat requirement for anything mesmer related uh, ma- magic incantation or any type of weapon which is uh, mesmer's fire related the reason of all this is the intelligence stat will be uh, remain heavily empty if we are not going to focus on anything magic related so it is a complete necessary that's why we are seeing a lot of gravity magic and potential greenstone sorceries and surprisingly in the gameplay video we have seen new perfumer arts which is a complete surprise because already a very small in a specific part of lands between already and i even thought they will expand more of perfume i have have never used any perfume in the base game i never felt the need and i i i'm not even looking forward in the dlc one thing i'm heavily interested in the dlc is the martial art fisting weapon other than the fist weapon we already have in the base game the usual poise breaking machine the iron balls and the star fist these fisting weapons these martial art weapons are very reminiscent of what horolu does during the boss fight then it is a possibility that there will be some chance of we are being introduced to badlands or anything horolu side of people but two possibility in this is that there's one these martial art weapons and the other one is that these are beast fisting weapons and the later parts which i have covered are mostly gameplay focused the starting ones are story focused these are the story elements we are going to explore in the dlc and they are actually more, uh, more new aspect other than uh, the crucible or death culture related the new aspect which i have mentioned the mesmer side of story and at the last there are some new region and uh, aspect that we are which is a completely unique and we have simply no idea like the uh, blue magical place what i still don't understand that that this is still a quite big of a list and how the dlc is still going to be the size of limgrave i will definitely cover more stuff related to dlc i i am going all in pretty much 2024 will be completely devoted towards elden ring well i have plans for dark souls 3 and sekiro and i don't see any opportunity to play these games like probably for a year now so that's about it it's just a casual talk if you watched it then thank you very much